kids, here we go. Eight pack, eight laps. Green is in the air and it is race time. Stock cars working on in there. Take a look there. Dusty with two and off the pace. Now BJ Wagoner there, three wide down the back straightaway. Here comes Tipton on the bottom. With two in the meat and the sandwich. Up there on the outside. Now look at this, still two, three wide action off a turn four and down the front straightaway. Tipton was a feature winner and track champion in one of the Colorado tracks just a couple of weeks ago. He settles in third behind the eight car Nolan Remus are chasing the 51 WBJ Wagoner. So Wagner on out front, the Colby Kansas racer. Remus, Nolan Remus runs the number two spot. Tipton in third, that's the 11B of Justin Bussell out of Imperial, Nebraska. He's worked his way from deep in the field, but now here we go for the lead. Nolan Remus on the bottom side. B.J. Wagner holding him at bay on the outside. Wagner will come on around. Now Remus has got company. On the outside comes the 11B of Bussell. Bussell up on the outside, he'll hustle to the number three spot, and it is still Nolan Remus looking on B.J. Wagner. Bustle got around, tipped it for the third spot. Remus now go look to the outside. Wagoner off turn four and a new leader in Nolan Remus. Remus on up into the race lead. He'll hustle on down. It is Remus, your leader. Wagner running second. Bustle into the number three spot as they battle their tipped into fourth. Now look at this, Bustle will make it up on the outside. Bustle to the top, B.J. Wagner, you've got company. Dusty with two to the pits in a 10 car. Off a of two down the back straightaway. It is Remus, your leader, Wagner. Had company. Bustle sits there, he's nestled in the number third spot. Tipped it on the bottom side. They'll race off a of turn number four. It is Remus, Wagner, Bustle. And tipped in one, two, three, and four as those four cars break away. And Remus will try desperately to the bottom side. Nothing to be had as we're coming to the white flag. Tipton tried to get under Bustle in turn two, but had to back off the gas. Lost momentum as we come with one to go. Final time, first heat race down into turn number one. It will be Nolan Remus, B.J. Wagner gonna try to stab and grab one more time on the bottom side. Nothing to be had into turn number three off of turn number four. Nolan Remus down to the checkers in the wind. Wagner goes second. Justin Bustle from seventh to third and Tipton finishes in the number four spot. Seven is Brian Rigsby out of Topeka. Of course, Brad Labatt out of Lapman, Saskatchewan, Canada, driving the 19X machine as we go green flag. So we've got him. Whoa! We got him turned on around. Look out, hang on. Up into the cabbage patch. Look at that. Yep. Jeff Tubbs, your leader though. Looking for got one off the corner, still coming back on. He does, I think we're gonna stay green. That the 33 machine up there off the racetrack. We'll hustle on down. Jeff Tubbs, your race leader. Andre Rexford out of Montezuma runs the number two spot. And here comes a 76 of Jason Davis out of Norton. Davis on the bottom side, love to bump to the rump on the 37 of Colby Racer. Jeff Tubbs and oh my, here we go, five car battle. Off a of two down the back straightaway, look out, couple on around then turn number three, one and two. Tubbs your leader, Davis looking to the inside. Watch there, Brad Labatt out of Lapman, Saskatchewan, Canada. Excuse me. We are yellow. Rigsby out of Topeka and J.C. Howell out of Mabank, Texas. Sitting back there in the bank drag spot. Green flag comes out. We'll race them on into turn number one and two. It'll be the 76 of Jason Davis out of Norton looking to the bottom side one more time as it is Davis now into the number two spot, but back on the outside comes Andre Rexford. They're all chasing the 37X of Jeff Tubbs. Tubbs up a few car lengths now. They head down the front straightaway. 
Davis to the inside. Rexford Haynes to the outside. 117S, Josh Schweitzer. The fourth, now Davis makes the pass out of turn two. Jason Davis comfortably into the number two spot now. Feel the race off of turn number four this time. It is still Jeff Tubbs, the 37X machine out of Colby, your race leader. He'll lead the field, fence post formation, everybody tucked on the tires. Now the 797 of Brian Rigsby. Trying to look and J.C. Howells on the button. The 103 out of Bank, Texas. Working her on the bottom side as they hustle on across. It's still Tubbs Davis, 1-2 Rexford, trying to hold the third. The man on the move is Labonte. The 19 trying to get by Schweitzer. Cannot get it done. And in the back, Cansby trying to hold on, or excuse me, Rigsby trying to hold on over J.C. Howell. So down into turn number one and two, it is still that 37X of Jeff Tubbs getting medieval on him up front tonight. He'll layer down there to the bottom side of turn number three and four. Tubbs a little tight. You see the car push out. It washes out a little bit. Right there in the midsection of the corner. has got a little trouble with it. That's going to open the door. Jason Davis looks to the inside. Battle for the lead. Tubbs has got it. Davis wants it. Now here comes Schweitzer. Schweitzer up into the number three spot. Field on into turn number three and off of four. It will be the 37X of Jeff Tubbs to the win. Davis goes home second. And the 1-1-7S. That will be Josh Schweitzer. Of Colorado and the Spider-Man, Nick Tubbs from Colby. The 737. P42's Dave Plowman from Omaha, Nebraska. The M80 is Matt Stallbomber. Out of Tecumseh, Kansas. We'll go four wide. Oh, doctor. Hang on to them, kids. Grab the kids, lock them up. We're going to go showtime down the back straightaway. Chad Sterling. Going to make it three wide. It's look at this. Austin Carter. Carter now bobbles it. It'll be three wide. And here comes Tubbs. The Spider Man to the race lead. Spider-Man, our feature winner last time out here at RPM Speedway. Sterling, though, looking at the inside. They are side by side for the top spot. So Plowman hard into the outside retaining wall up here on the front straightaway. He'll retire to the infield, but there is no retiring for the lead. Tubbs has got it. Sterling is looking hard on the bottom side. Plowman to the infield and Austin Carter went to the pits in the 63C. So it is still Nick Tubbs, your race leader. Perry Meisner off the speedway. Tubbs, Sterling, and Angel Munoz. Got that old b, &B chassis wound up. Only third night in it. First night out, put her in victory lane. Into turn number three and four, it is still Nick Tubbs. Tubbs a Casey's Heat Race winner at the Super Nationals. Can he be a Casey's Heat Race winner here tonight at the Fall Nationals 9? We'll find out as they hustle off a of two. It is Nick Tubbs, Chad Sterling, and Angel Munoz. One, two, and three. Back there in the battle for fourth, 09 Terry Franz and the M80 of Matt Stallbomber got it going on as we're down to a five car field. Down the front straightaway, it is still Tubbs, your race leader. Sterling and Munoz, one, two, and three. Munoz trying to close in on Sterling as Tubbs is checked out a little bit. Out front, Munoz almost didn't come this week because he thought it was going to rain. Canceled these motel rooms, so they may be sleeping in the pickup. Yeah, he's the guy that I said it's only Monday. <laughs> So down the back straightaway, it is still Nick Tubbs to a four car advantage down the back straightaway. Tubbs out front, Sterling running second. The white flag is in the air. There is one lap to go. Final time around the three eighths mile oval. The Spider-Man, Nick Tubbs and then Sterling and Munoz. Coming around, Tubbs a little wide out of two down the back straightaway, but he's gonna hold on to win heat number three. That's the Spider-Man, Nick Tubbs. Chad Sterling will go second. Angel Munoz in third, and Terry France, the 09 car, will run fourth. So that's heat race number three in the books. Turn the page. So big thanks going out to 
Ain't no Holly Beck girl. Over there keeping the Tiki folks happy along with Cassie. So, that one is not gonna go. Start has been waved off. Cody Evans says it's gotta look a lot better than my prom date. Hang on. Get them both something and then you're out of the doghouse for just that moment. My XY's pretty big. It'd take quite a few X's. Oh, to we, <laughs> we, we got a side brought a sewing machine with me. On into turn number one and two. Look at Troubles. Hang on, hang on. Dan McIntoon says, wow. Did I just watch two guys loop it in front of me? Yep, I did. But meanwhile, out front, it will be Jason Rogers. Rogers, your race leader in the 37 car. Here comes the 57 hot rod. That is Josh Crombie out of this city. He's right there along with the 22T of Tyler Muirhead is a hustle on down the Texas racer running in the number three spot. Hey, Josh Crombie had a feature win earlier this year. The Cruiser Division teamed up with his mother, D. Bauer. Well, what a deal. All righty. It is still that 37 of Rogers. Crombie one and two. The driver out of Texas. Tyler Muirhead working the old Texas hot rod in the number three spot. As they hurry on down the front straightaway, starting to slick off. You see him, you gotta be ginger on the tires as Brett Copeland out of Flower, Kansas, sits in the number three or four spot. We mentioned last night, Rogers, what a racing family. Both kids, the son and daughter, race go-karts. Wife, Felicia, she competes in the demo derbies. You betcha. If it's got wheels, tires can crash, you'll be a problem. They've got them as Rogers. Your race leader is a hustle on down the back straight away. Was you the one to mention tonight? Rogers finished third in national points. Yeah. And stuck cars this year. Well, we were we had that debate at lunch. We're not a hundred percent sure. Okay. Well, I know him and I were talking about it. So we'll see. I know we looked at bonus points, and I do believe he should finish there, but I haven't seen all the points. So it's Rogers, your race leader, Crombie running second. The driver from Ma Bank, Texas, Tyler Muirhead, sits in that number three spot, laps winding down. Two laps to go. And your leader remains Jason Rogers. Crombie in second. There's your race for third. McIntoon right now has the position. White flag this time, Mike, is Jason Rogers, as he did, has done so many times here at the legendary RPM Speedway. Sets his sights down the front back straightaway with nobody in front of him, as he knows that he's going to be the first one to come across the checkered flag. It is Jason Rogers with the win. Crombie goes second, and third goes to... The 22T of Tyler Muir, Muirhead out of Texas. Norton in the 35JW. Row four is a little easier. The 181, Kevin Wagner, Sharon Springs, Kansas. And the 14R is Robbie Eubanks out of Concordia. And we go green flag racing. Jason Schoenberger back behind the wheel of an IMCA stock car. Three wide, and here comes old Snapchat. Shoney on the outside, they're four wide, look out. Hang on, it'll be the look out. The double zero X of Altenburg down across the nose. Look at this, three wide, and it's Wiener Woken to the lead. Oh my. Yep, here comes Schoenberger. Arnold Williams on the bottom, not gonna give it up. Three wide, Conaway runs fourth. Altenburg rounds at your top five. Still three wide into three and four. Oh, it's still woken up on the outside. Schoenberger in the middle and down to the bottom side is that 07 machine of Arnie Williams. Williams now puts Schoenberger back there, and here comes Casey Woken, the driver of the 35 JW Hot Rod. Works it on into turn number three and four. It is Casey Woken and Arnie Williams, one, two, and Jason Schoenberger, third. The wiener out front in the 35 JW. Williams and Schoenberger close. Conway Altberg, a good race side-by-side -side for fourth. Then Tifo runs fifth. 
followed by Eubanks and Kevin Wagoner. So down the front straight away. It is the 35 J-Dub. Wiener Woken out front showing the way. Arnie Williams, Jason Schoenberger. And then the one to Chase Conaway at a Smith Center. That's your old hometown boy, Huey, running the number four spot. Had a baby not well. He didn't. His wife had a baby not long ago. All right, it's down to a two car race. Schoenberger back now. A little bit of distant third is Williams. Right on the back bumper awoken as they head in three and four. Off a turn four down the front straightaway. It is still Casey Woken. Your race leader, Woken on out front, showing it. Arnie Williams is gonna show him the nose down the back straight away. Woken, you got company. Williams trying to come up there and spoil the party. Casey Woken up on the outside. The white flag is out. Woken is your leader. And a turn one and two. Woken and the 07 of Arnie Williams. Jason Schoenberger watching a whale of a show in front of him. On into turn number three and four. It'll be down Cody Evans, checkered flag in hand. It'll be Wiener Woken picking up the win. Arnie Williams goes second. Jason Schoenberger in the number three spot, but Casey Woken getting him to drop and picking up the win. 14 R Bob side from Utica. The 11 JX of Austin Walker in a stock car tonight. Ah, uh, looking for the green flag. Oh, Rob Stensville out of Minot, North Dakota is going to see him go up and around. Oh, rolling Rob working her there. Here comes Pomisto. It'll be three wide down the back straight away. Look out. Gray's got company. They're four deep down into turn number three. Oh, my. His old Roland Rob's going to roll his way to the outhouse deck there. He'll go tailback on this one. White House to the outhouse in one lap. Is it is that 10K of Kyle Stallbomber out of Topeka, your race leader. It's Aaron Gray to 16 and Bruce Pomisto. Mike, that's the two by two battle for second. The UPS drivers got the 01W hooked up. Looking inside of Gray. He's going to move into the runner up spot. Gray drops to third, the hip man. Trevor Schmidt now in the four spot. Schmidt now look to the inside of Gray. They'll hustle off a two down the back straightaway. It is a 10K of Kyle Stallmommer. Your race leader. Feel the work off a of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Here comes Trevor Schmidt on the bottom side. Schmidt's got to run. Gray's going to shut the door. Now Pomisto. You better try to get that old overnight package wrapped up and get her delivered out in the country because they're coming to call for you. Now Gray will look to the inside. He's got a special delivery for second. Man, too wide for third, too wide for fourth. Here they come. It's still out front, that stall bomber. Your race for second, Plumisto. Gray, now Schmidt and Hahn have made it a four car race for the runner up spot. So it's Davis one more time to the inside. Excuse me, Gray one more time to 16. Here comes Pomingsto on the outside. Trevor Schmidt, the 2Z working it hard on the bottom side. You have got, oh, contact! Trevor Schmidt later in there hard on Pomisto. Got Pomisto all kinds of sideways. Pomisto was able to drive out of that, but he's going to lose two spots in the transfer of that. Pomisto now looks inside to Hahn in three and four. Out front, Stall Bomber still has a grave. Still in the runner-up spot, had a couple of wins at Joaquini this year. Then Schmidt and Hahn side-by-side side for third. So into turn number three and four, it's still Stall Bomber. Your race into the white flag is in the hand of your starter, Cody Evans. One a lap to go as they race down the main straightaway. Stall Bomber. The 16 machine of Aaron Gray from right here in Hayes, America. Rolls two. Trevor Schmidt is third and Tyler Hahn is fourth. They'll race off of turn number four. Checkered flag is in the air. Give it to Kyle, Kyle Stonebomber. Stonebomber. Second will go to Aaron Gray and third to